This is the uh, fourth video and in this one we are going to start to write our ladder logic program. In the previous video uh, we had checked that we had added timers and counters to our global variable list and so now we're ready to start programming. Uh, so into the first tab plc underscore prg and you've got this blank network the first network so to begin with we've got to think about what the task that we're programming so let's go and look at it uh, so we know what our inputs are and we know what our outputs are so if I start to look at what the activity says if the momentary start button is pressed and the momentary stop button is not pressed because these are momentary buttons I will need to use a self latching circuit to begin the program because um, we basically need to know whether the system should be running or should not and because they're momentary buttons those buttons aren't constantly pressed so the self latching circuit will mean we can we can tell whether the system should be running or not so to begin with let's do our, our self latching run So I am first going to add a normally open contact and make that our start button. And the next item I'm going to add is a normally closed contact and make that our stop button. And I am going to add a coil and I'm actually not going to link that to any of the uh, the uh, variables that I've already created. I'm going to create a new one and call it a run auxiliary, run underscore ox. So we'll be able to use this run ox further down the program. When I hit enter, it asks me to declare the variable. So I'm going to make it a global variable, and it's boolean style, so it's either on or off. And then I'm going to self latch that auxiliary by adding a parallel run. And make that link to the run ox. So now if the start button is pressed, run ox will come on. This um, relay will close, contact will close and um, the run ox will stay on until the stop button is pressed. So that's the first lane and it's a start stop. So we'll go back and have a look at what else we have to consider. So moment we stop button is not pressed then cylinder A should extend until it reaches roller switch A1. So I'm going to need another run on my program to control solenoid A extend and I'm going to need a third run to control solenoid A retract. So I'll go and add those. If I click into the grey area and right click I can add a network afterwards. And on that run, I will add an output to A extend. And on the run below that, I will add a coil and link it. To a retract. So there you go. I'm going to have to add more detail to these lanes, but at the minute I know I'll need a lane to control A extend and a lane to control A retract. <coughs> so let's go back and see what else we need. Cylinder A should retract until it reaches roller switch A0. Now it says here there should be a three second delay, so that means I'm going to need a timer. And I'll need a run to control that timer. So we'll go back to our program, add a run below, 
dom not run i will put my timer and make it to the timer which we had already created timer one and if we go back and check it says three second delay so we can add that detail now remember when you're typing time into the timer it has to be added like this t hash how many seconds yes and we need another run i'm just trying to make sure that we see as much of this as possible the reason we need the other run is because it says here the cycle should repeat four times so that means we need a counter so we need a run to control that counter back to our program and network after on this run I'm going to put counter insert function block find counters so they're in there CTU account up counter and this one I'm going to link to the counter that I already created earlier in my global variable list this counter needs to count to four Oh, that's for the reset, so I need to change that. We'll take that out for the time being. We will have to come up with a reset. But for the time being, I'll take that out. And PV is 4. Okay. This is all the rungs that we will are likely to need in the program. But if we need to add more, we can. So come back to the next video and see how we are detailed to the rungs to make the program work.